Hey what's up guys, in today's video I am going to show how to clone or migrate WordPress website manually. So you may ask why we need to do it manually. Because in some cases we are not able to migrate it by some free or paid plugin of migration. In that case we have to do it manually. And in this video I will show you about everything of the migration of WordPress website manually. And you are going to learn many things in this migration. So video is going to more interesting and before start I request you to subscribe my youtube channel. So let's dive into. So first of all I am doing it in cPanel not in the localhost because in localhost it is too easy to do that. And from the cPanel you will learn a lot of things about database, database users and many more. So first of all we have to download all the files and then the database as well. So to download the files we have to go to file manager in cPanel and in this video I am going to migrate this website into this subdomain. So just go to the cPanel file manager and then you have to download the file for example test.findgap. So this is the test.findgap domain just click on it and then you have to select all right click on it and then compress it. So the zip format should be suggested click on it and then compress files so it may take time according to size of your files so just close it after and then you can see this is the zip file we just created just click on download and while it is downloading we can download the database as well so go back to cpanel again and search here php my admin so now you have to click on it and it will open all the databases of my websites so to check the database name we have to go to the files and then we have to locate for wp-config file which is the database file. So in this file we have to connect the database with the files. Just open it, edit it. So this is the cache you can true or false and this is the database connection which we have to do in every website. The database name is this one, this is the user of the database and passport and the host will be localhost. So I am going to copy it and go to PHP my admin search here. You can see this is the database which you have to download. Just click on it and then go to the export. So by this way you can download the database in WordPress and then click on go. So you can see SQL format is selected. You can select any others if you want. But this is a default and usable format. So as you can see our database and files are downloaded and just go to the cPanel again and close it as well. So as you can see our subdomain is created. You can create it from there subdomain. Just you have to click on it and then you can create from there easily. Now go to the files. We have to look after clone website dot find gap. Here we go clone website dot find gap. You have to click on it and then you have to upload the files. Just click on this option and select files. So this is the folder which we have to upload. So as you can see our files are uploaded. Now we have to go back and refresh it again. So now we have to unzip it. Just right click and extract here. Now we have to close it because files are extracted. Now our files are imported. Now it's time to import the database. So in the cPanel you have to go to database. So you have to click on MySQL databases. Now we have to create the new database. You can suggest clone and then create database. So this database is created. Now go back and now we have to create the username of this database and then attach it. So from there you can create the username as well. We have to suggest the username passport. Just generate it from there. Copy it and paste here. So you can save it in some files just like that and then create user. Then you have to go back again and then we have to test a database with the user. So if you scroll down then you have to add the user to the database. This is the username and this is the database name. Just add it. And now we have to give all privileges. So the user can create, delete, event, index and many other things. Make changes. So our changes are saved. Now go back to PHP my admin and refresh this page. So as you can see our database is created here. So but it is empty for now. 
now we have to import the database as well from the previous website so just go to import and then select file and this is the file and then you just have to do go without any other settings so our database is imported successfully as you can see now we have to close this tab and this as well so now the real game will start and we have to go to the website files and then we have to change the files from this database config file just edit it again so we have to change there some files because of the connection just copy the name of the database and you know user is same also so now we have to copy the username password just paste it here and all the other things will remain same no need to change any other things it will be same so now we have to open the domain clone website dot find gap and you can see our file is imported successfully now it's time to log in it wp admin as you can see it is redirected because we have some issue to solve the issue we have to make sure few things first of all go to the users table in the same database and then you have to change it the user url you have to make sure the new one clone website so as you can see it is saved so now we have to login it again because of this issue we have to make sure again just copy this name and you have to search in the whole website database just like that paste it here and select all tables and then go so you can see we have a one match in the user table so you can see it is same now make sure other table and here we have to change it as well just copy it clonewebsite.com and paste it here and remove the s as well so paste save it so now it is saved and then go to another match so we have to change it as well and then see again in this table so this is not necessary to change it and now we have to refresh it again wp admin and we have to put here password and user so it is saying cookies are blocked now we have to open the inspect and after that we have to refresh it again after opening the inspect just close it and now you can see our website is looking good here because it is migrated and one more step you have to do you have to go to permalinks and then you have to save the permalinks to this one because it is good practice to do it to the post name just save it and now you can see our website is ready and migrated so what i have done after the migration i just change few things from the database in the users table and then i have searched in the whole database and change the domain name so by this way you can migrate the wordpress website manually and i hope you must find this video useful because in some cases we badly stuck in that case so that's why i have made this video for your convenience and finally thanks for watching